In this section, we'll discuss about the pacemaker implant procedure. We usually implant the pacemaker in the cardiac catheterization laboratory with an X-ray C-arm. This X-ray C-arm allows us to screen the leads. We'll be putting in the leads through the vein to the heart. So we can have a PA projection, which allows us to see where the vein go, where the lead go into the subcavian vein and the right atrium, right ventricle. And also, we can tilt the X-ray C arm into right anterior oblique or the left anterior oblique view. The right anterior oblique view is important, especially if we want to confirm the lead is pointing anteriorly to the RV apex or the right atrial appendage. The left anterior oblique view is also important, especially when you put in the LV lead in the cardiac resignalization therapy. So with this X-ray monitoring, we can monitor the lead where it goes. And also, we monitor the ECG of the patient. When we test the threshold, the pacing threshold of the patient, or sometimes when we pace, put the lead into the ventricle or atrium, it may provoke some arrhythmias. Although it's rare, sometimes it can provoke dangerous ventricular arrhythmias. So a defibrillator is also needed to stand by in case of emergency. And this is the surgical trolley for the implantation of pacemaker. Essentially, it contains different types of artery, scissors, and also the forceps. We use diaphragmy in some difficult patient, um, uh, especially for patient with ICD implantation. Uh, it allows us to have a very good hemostasis.